We started this project with a pilot in 2012. There were 15 councils who were prepared to see if this might be something that would, that would be helpful and would be possible. Following that was a really important moment because if only 12 stepped forward again, that's, that wasn't enough for this to be viable. So when over 70 stepped forward, that, that was the councils actually saying, we are prepared to lead. I think it's a really valuable um, exercise in sharing information between councils. This is something that's dropped off a little bit over the years with proposed amalgamation. So it's great to bring back that spirit of collaboration and benchmarking and, and things like that. Well, what, what data allows you to do is at the strategic level is tell the story and set a scene. It also then allows you to pull that information apart at a very fine grain level and work towards detailed solutions. It allows us to really question and challenge um, our, our business as usual activities. So if um, we find ourselves with a, a data set where we are, are um, an outlier, either um, extremely more or less than the than um, a group of councillors participating, it, it allows us to really question and challenge why that's the case. I think as, as councils have received their survey for report, um, a lot of them are reflecting on their change programs that they implemented after survey three um, and seeing how they went, which is really exciting. Well, I think there's an opportunity to learn about yourself. If you don't, um, if you don't understand, you don't know these things, then how do you know what there's a bias for action. The real strength would be in the fact that 134 councils are already involved. Presumably that will continue to grow. Um, and hopefully in the future those councils can start to share their stories about the programs that are working for them, why they're working. Um, you know, one size doesn't fit all, so sharing those stories will be really important in terms of what works in certain places and not in other places. In the other work I've done like this, nothing like this has happened without people being compelled to do it. There are lots of examples where good things only happen when either um, a law comes into place or some other kind of regulation actually makes people do the right thing. This is, this is very unique.